for a record. Check, 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 check for a record. What's going on, guys? How y'all doing out there? It's Marquis from Boston. Yo, it's a lot of good music coming out, man, but I had to rewind, man. Um, Flea Lord and Me Fucks. That's his name. M E P H U X. Coming straight out of Boston. Producer from Boston. Yo, underrated producer from Boston. So, Me Fucks and Flea Lord, they got two projects this year, but I'm gonna start off with project number one. Um, let's go, man. The first one's called Pray for Evil. And they did a Pray for Evil part two. They released that recently. But I had to rewind. I had to go. I said, yo, let me go back. Because I remember them doing the project before in February. And this was like the first project that Flea Lord dropped this year. Now, if you know the artist Flea Lord, he told everybody, he told the, the hip hop world he's going to put out an album every month at least. Now, he didn't release one in January. But he caught up this month by releasing two joints. He released a joint fully produced by 38 Special. And he now he just then he just released um Pray for Evil Part 2 with Me Fucks. So I'm going back, man. I'm going back in time. It ain't that much in time. It's still this year, but in February he released Pray for Evil Part 1. They don't say part one, but you know, Pray for Pray for Evil. It came out 228. 20. It was only like 19 minutes and 31 seconds. Now, I had to take a quote from Nas. I don't know if y'all remember New York State of Mind. I know y'all know New York State of Mind. Classic record, you know what I'm saying? On a classic album. Um, Nas goes, I never sleep. Because sleep, sleep is the cousin of death. He says, I never sleep. Because sleep is the cousin of death. That's what Nas said. That's one of the like, dopest lines ever, you know what I'm saying? In the hip-hop community. Yo, Flea Lord, don't sleep. Yo, if he's coming out with 12 projects this year, this dude ain't sleeping, man. This dude ain't sleeping. You know what I'm saying? He gonna need, he need, he need some of this. He need what I need. You know what I'm saying? I got a migraine headache, man. I've been having it for a couple weeks, man. I don't know if it's stress or what, but I've been taking um, all types of stuff, man, just to keep the headache down, man. You know what I'm saying? So this video might not be too... Energetic, you know, I'm like usually energetic running around doing backflips on the on the tapes and stuff, but um I haven't really been feeling too well. But um I love hip hop and I'ma keep going, I'm gonna, you know what I mean? I'ma keep writing my blogs, I'ma keep um, you know what I'm saying, doing these videos, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll rest. I'm like a vampire. This is the only light I got. I turned on a light today just to do this. But I've been living in like a vampire. But let's get into this album and let's go back to um part one, you know what I'm saying? Now Let's get into the producer a little bit. I don't know too much about him. If y'all know anything about him, I just know he's from Boston, man. He's representing Bean Town. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. Um, I just know his name is it's Me Fux, M E P H U X, aka Dustin Willis Weber. That's all I know about him. I tried to research, but I didn't really get a lot of information. You know, some producers, and you gotta think about producers back in the day, you didn't even know what they looked like. You didn't know what nobody. You didn't know what Buck, who Buck Wild looked like. You didn't know who. Sometimes you didn't. I don't even think the only reason you knew who Premier looked like because he was in all the videos with, with um Guru. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't really know a lot of a lot of DJs played the backfield. You know what I'm saying? A lot of producers played the backfield. They would just give you beats or whatever, and not even sometimes they won't even be in the video. You know what I'm saying? But um, shout out to um Flea Lord for getting with this uh producer. This producer is not known. As much as everyone else, but I'm pretty sure after this, not just this album, but the second installment they just recently put out, he gonna start, people gonna start hitting him up. Let's put it that way, you know what I mean? Let's talk about Flea Lord for a little bit. Now, Flea Lord was down with um, Prodigy before he passed away, you know what I'm saying? He was like a prodigy. He was a prodigy of a prodigy. <laughs> you know, but rest in peace, um, P. Um, Rest in peace to all the fallen rappers and stuff too. You know what I mean? Too many in the name. But um, Flea, Flea's like a reincarnated version of uh, Prodigy. Or like Prodigy passed away and his, and his spirit's in Flea. You know, something's going on, man. Because Flea Lord is on fire. Like, 
That's why I said I had to take this back. I'm like, yo, did I review? I don't even know if I reviewed this one. I was like, did I review this one? Because I was about to review part two, and I'm like, yo, I didn't review part one. So let me go back a little bit and review this one. You know what I'm saying? Because this one was a banger too. A little shorter, but a little, you know what I'm saying? But it was a banger. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, let me go back and see what's going on. Um, Lee Lord beat selection is incredible. Um, he gets with the, the, the best producers. Or, you know what it is? Well, he's getting with the... Here's the thing. If you're a rapper, you gotta know your your voice is a... Um, I'm not gonna say weapon, but you're pretty much... Your voice is like an instrument tool. So you gotta match your voice with those beats. You just got to. You got like... And, and me fucks... Man, he's doing a good job, man, with this dude. So Flea Lord knows, you know what I'm saying, what to pick, what not to pick. And um, Flea Lord's a rapper, man. He's a storyteller. He's one of them dudes, he's not like a um, like a Jay-Z. The Jay-Z, you know how Jay-Z be like, hit rap, and you go, what, what, what Jay-Z talking about? Is he talking about this dude? He's talking about this chick? Who's he talking about? You know what I'm saying? Flea Lord's, like, he's straight out. You know what I'm saying? He's blatant. You know what I'm saying? Remind me of me a little bit. Like, I'm too honest sometimes. Like, in his rhyme, you can tell he's, um, what he's saying. What he, you know what I'm saying? So most of the titles of the records is what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, he goes right in. Like, so if he, if he names something, whatever it is, if he names a, a, a title, Drink My Water, that's what the goddamn song's gonna be about. You know what I'm saying? Um, so which is dope. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's how it should be. You know what I'm saying? None of that discreet stuff. If he's rapping about, yo, I'm going to um, smack your boy, you know what I'm saying, take your girl, and then fly around the world, guess what? Flea Lord either did it or he's about to do it. So, you know what I mean? All this stuff's believable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to throw no allegations on the dude, but you know what I'm saying? He sound like he's real street, real raw. He's been through a couple of these situations, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into it, man. And speaking of... um. You know, the, you know, of like double this, two of this, because like I was, I was saying like he works twice as hard as, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I think hopefully I did. But anyway, let me repeat it. I think Flea Lord works twice as hard as any MC out here. You know what I'm saying, especially now, and this is before the epidemic. He said I'm gonna put out an album at least every month. This is before the shutdown. You know what I'm saying? So you got his work hustle is insane. You know what I'm saying? Just insane. Um. Lead versus what the oh, this is what I want to say, yo. <laughs> so compared to his most recent albums, like a lot of people get mad because like he have a dope beat, right? And then he just do one verse. You know what I'm saying? You be like, you be looking around, and, yo, is that it? You know what I'm saying? Like on this album, on this song, I mean this album here, this project, the first joint, he does at least two verses, at least. You know what I'm saying? So you you can you can hear and he got a chorus, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's rapping, you know what I'm saying? So you go, okay, this is a song, you know what I'm saying? Most of his songs are over two minutes, two minutes, thirty seconds on this joint. You know what I'm saying? So it's only seven tracks, but um I think all the tracks are over two two thirty or three minutes, you know what I'm saying? So Fleet kinda gets in with the lyrics, he kinda give you he gives you a story, you know what I'm saying? But like most recent projects, he's been kinda like one verse. And people go, yo, that, that beat's hard. That beat's dope. Like, all, I'm telling you, go check out Flea Lord's projects. Once a month, I'm telling you, he's, he's been, been consistent. Except for January, of course. And, um, but like I said, he made up for it with the 38 Special joint. And then um, this joint, uh, not this joint, but Pray for Evil Part 2 that just dropped. So he put two out this month. So, um, so he made up for it, you know what I mean? So he's still going to do 12 this year. The dude ain't playing, man. He say something, he gonna do it. That's why I be like, yo, he's, he's one of them dudes that say, he, he remind me of me, man. He say something, he gonna do it, man. Stop playing around, man. Why you wasting people's time? You know what I'm saying? Stop wasting people's time. Yo, but anyway, let's get into this album. I don't wanna waste y'all time. You know what I'm saying? So, the first joint, I told you it's only seven joints. You know what I'm saying? But the first joint's When My Dough Come, right? Smooth, sinister beat. Yo, this producer is... Dope with Flea Lord's voice. It's just the way he got the underground 
boom bap, grimy beats. It's just like, and it just matches Flea Lord's voice so much. Like, I'm about to lose my voice. I sound like um, Peter Brady on Brady Bunch. It's well no change. Would it be arranged? You remember Brady Bunch, dog? You know you remember Brady Bunch, dog. I'm saying I'm, I'm telling my age, dog. 25. 25. I'm 25. I just watch a lot of reruns. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yo, number one, like I said, um, when my dog come, Smooth sent us the beat. Um Flea stays on point with the titles. Like I said, like usually if you get a title. About mopping the floor, he's gonna rap about mopping the floor, man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> but it's dope, man. Though it's saying like he's he's following. It's like old school. Remember, like no people had those tracks, and when they had those tracks, and they said soap on the rope, they rapped about soap on the rope. Don't drop it. I don't know whatever they was rapping about. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I like the quality of his music. You know what I'm saying? It's like a um, his music reminds me of a, a, like books, mini books. You know what I'm saying? Like a like a like a chapter. He's a chapter to his book, so every album is a book. You know what I'm saying? So like an intro, they tell you the intro. They tell you, oh, this is the intro, introduction, what up? And then he might give you another, he might give you a couple bars, and then he gets into the album. And then usually he'll do an outro, basically telling you the end. You know what I'm saying? You know, like in books that go intro or whatever, beginning, and then at the, then they say end at the end, you know, it's the, end, the last chapter. So he pretty much does that a lot in his own his catalog. You know what I'm saying? He does this in this one too. So number two, this is one of my favorites in my rotation. One Shot featuring Jag. G4 Jag. G4 Jag's down with um the whole movement, the flea law movement, you know what I'm saying? The um, loyalty movement, you know what I'm saying? So G4 got that distinctive voice too. And I said that in another um video that G4 Jag's voice is also like a weapon, like a like a um instrument, you know what I'm saying? And he just does the chords on here. But yo, go check out G4 Jag, man. I review one of his albums. <sighs> yo, go check out G4 Jag. You gotta get used to the voice, but once you get used to that voice, you start listening to those lyrics and you go, G4 Jag is dope. So shout out to G4 Jag on this joint. Um, and Flea Lord rides this boom bap beat, man. Like he, he just he just knows how to like, like I, you know my famous quote, or one of my famous quotes, like these rappers be putting beats in the headlock, you know what I'm saying? So Flea Lord know how to put these beats in the headlock. Yo, speaking of headlock, I say it a lot. A lot of people, oh, why are you always saying headlock? That was my favorite move, dog, in wrestling. The headlock? Yo, you, you couldn't get out the headlock, dog. A lot of people couldn't get out my headlock. Stop playing, dog. If I had somebody right here, like a little cousin or something, I'll put him in the headlock right now and show you. <laughs> you stop playing, man. I got a headache, man. I'm about to take some of these or some of these. Yo, if you got a um, household remedy for, like, migraines, man, tell me, man. Put it in the comments, man. Seriously, you know what I'm saying? I ain't feeling well, you know what I'm saying? But, yo. Let's go to number three. Another one of my favorites in my rotation. It's called um, Still Shining, right? Now, besides, like I said, besides 38 Special, I think Me Fucks got this dude locked. Like, you know, they, he rides deep, like 38 Special, Me Fucks beats, like, with no problem. Like, he can probably do albums with them two producers all day, and people gonna be like, yo, you hear that Flea Lord? Yo, you hear that Flea Lord? You know what I'm saying? So, it's just dope, man. You know what I'm saying? So, this is on the rotation. Number number three. You know what I mean? Number four. Black G-Wagon. This is another dark and grimy beat with Flea's distinctive voice, man. Like, Flea's... Yo, I'm telling you, man. Flea just reminds you the hood. He just reminds you of the hood. Like, as soon as he starts speaking, you go... It's like your, 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 your environment changes. You could be in a mansion. You could be... You could be you could be in Rick Ross, Rick Ross's mansion, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? But when you hear Flea Lord's voice, you feel like you you feel like you're in the projects. You feel like you're back in the projects, though. You like, yo, what the fuck? Am I back in the projects? Yo, so that's that's the vibe he gives you, and that's why I like Flea Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? It gets you in that that mood. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's how this this is what I'm talking about. What makes an artist? What makes good music? Is they take you on a path. Like, yo, go listen to Shay Noah's albums. Shay Noah is so descriptive. And this will make hip hop or hip hip hop stars or whatever. They just descriptive. They just dope. They detail. You know what I'm saying? I'd be telling people, yo, if you ain't detailed, you ain't saying nothing, I ain't listening to you, man. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Flea Lord, you know what I'm saying? Number five, Steppers, featuring Conway. Now on this album, he only had um G4 Jag on the hook. 
And then he got um it's Conway. You know what I'm saying? Conway raps on this one. So Steppers featuring um Conway. This is one of my favorite tracks in my rotation. Um yo, put it in the air, Conway and Flea Lord. What is that project? Yo, give us seven tracks, give us ten tracks. You could you could, you know what I'm saying? Maybe half, five with me fucks, five with 30 special, just do seven and set uh, yo, do something, man. Yo, y'all better get together, man. You know what I'm saying? They got like their voices together sound so incredible. You know what I'm saying? That most of the songs they own together, they have my rotation. So shout out to Conway. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing around, you know what I'm saying? Conway got some stuff coming out too. So y'all better be weird. Um, number six, 2020 Minds. He's basically saying 2020 is mine. Listen, this album came out in February. He's saying 2020 is mine. He's basically telling you right now, <laughs> yo, he's about to take over 2020. And guess what? What's, what's where we at? August? Yo, everybody's talking about Flea Lord. Everybody in the hip hop, on the ground, whatever you want. Even in the, even the, I bet you, the top MCs, the ones that y'all know, you know what I'm saying? The ones that everybody know. I bet you they even talking about Flea. They ain't gonna admit it. You don't see people don't admit it. They be like, oh, I ain't gonna say nothing about this dude. I don't wanna blow him up. You don't have to. Flea Lord's, I bet you Flea Lord's comfortable for, to where he's at right now. He's making good money. He got merch. He don't need to be, he don't need to be famous. You know what I'm saying? He just need to be right where he's at and making that quality music for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like us. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, dog. But yo, you got a line on here. <laughs> Big pussy on the bed, about to beat it up like a body. Yo. <laughs> Yo. It's just certain things he say, they stand out. You go, what? You gotta listen to the whole whole track, but it just verses and bars that stand out with Flea Lord, man. So I gotta give it up to Flea Lord, man. And like, again, I apologize for the lack of energy. I'm usually, like I said, running around, going crazy. You know what I'm saying? I got migraine, man. That's crazy. But um, number seven, ease the pain. I need to ease the pain. I need somebody help me ease the pain. Um, please tell the story. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're listening. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, listen to like a book, man. It's just it's a it's a it's an audio book. You know what I'm saying? Flea Lord is putting out audio books for us, man. Yo, you don't even have to read. You don't have to know how to read. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but yo, go read. Stop playing around. Read, write. Um, keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like even if you're even if you're like 50 years old, you better start reading and write. You know what I'm saying? I know Flea Lord reads a lot or writes a lot. Something's going on. With, like, he got a vocabulary that a lot of MCs are jealous about. They're, like, they're probably like, yo, how is this dude coming up with all this material once a month? Yo, maybe he talks a lot to a lot of people. Maybe he travels. Maybe not now, but you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it, it's something he reads. Something's going on with Flea, man. He got a lot of bars, a lot, of, lot, a lot to say. Let's put it that way. Um, yo. It's dope though. Hey yo, speaking of health, man, get on that black sea oil. I ain't saying what kind, that's why I did it fast. Um, and get on that sea moss, you know what I'm saying? Those are stuff, those are things I take naturally to um keep my body right, you know what I'm saying? Work out, you know what I'm saying, and work out the brain, like I said. You can work out the ears with this music, but you gotta work out the brain too with the with the reading and the writing, you know what I'm saying? So check out my blog. I don't got a blog on this, but check out my blogs of other artists. And then check out my other reviews, subscribe, share the video, like the video, um, all that, man. Ring the bell, all that, man. I'm serious, man. I really, I really you know what I'm saying? I just need the support. I'm, I do this for free. I love hip-hop, man. I love this stuff, man. I just, I just it's, it's in me. It's in, you know what I mean? I found my niche. I love talking about it. I love expressing myself. And I love sharing it with you guys. So, um, appreciate it, man. Yo, in the comments, like I said, hit me with some um some goddamn um situations on like home remedies on uh, migraines, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to Flea Lord and um Me Fucks. Yo, that me fucks, yo, yo, what the hell? That's how they pronounce it. So I don't know, it's like I'm swearing all the time. But anyway, um shout out to um both of those kings and yo, Boston baby, Boston Medusa. Bean Town and support of the king. My daughter's clothing line. Alright, stop being cheap. One love.